Hey, beautiful church, how are you today? God bless you. It is your brother, Tony, it, Faith in Yeshua. And the reason I named this channel that is because I have faith in Jesus. Complete and only faith in Jesus. <clears throat> Pardon me. How are you guys doing? You doing good? I pray that you are. I, I'm always praying for you guys, and I love you guys. And today, I wanted to um, come on here and just chat with you a little bit about something that's been on my mind, something the Lord has impressed upon my heart. And I suppose a bit of a confession and apology. Um, but that's what we do. We're humans. We fall. We get back up. We fall. We get back up. You know, Jesus isn't so much concern, concerned about um, if and when we sin, because we will. We're human creatures on this fallen, sinful creation. But if we get back up, do we get back up? Do we trust the Lord? Do we keep on keeping on? Do we keep on moving and growing? Um, I was going to do this video last night, but I, I wanted to make sure that I had scripture backing up what I'm saying, because that's what it's all about. And that, and that ties into my message. Hold on. Let me get up my... Booyah, baby. My cross. Anyway, um, the theme of today's message is division. And I believe the reason the Lord put this on my heart is, well, not only there's, as you know, a lot of division in the church around the world, but there's a, a, a huge division among the brothers and sisters here on YouTube. And it's getting wider and it needs to be addressed. And unfortunately, I believe, I'd made, I'd made a few comments last night on some people's channels. And after I did, the Holy Spirit corrected me, said, don't do that, what are you doing? That's wrong, don't do that. Even if you got something to say, say it in love. If you've got something to say, you know what? Have you ever heard that old saying, if you you know, can't say something nice to somebody, don't say anything, just keep your mouth shut? Well, I need to learn that. <laughs> um, for some reason, and it's, it's, I believe it is, there is, there is a spirit of division going on, and has been, but it's getting worse. And so as for myself, I'm, I'm going to check myself, and I hope and pray that this video does that same thing for you. Because there are people and channels that I used to follow that I don't follow anymore. And not only do I not follow them, I've been leaving them some comments. And, you know, I have to tell myself, okay, you know, hold, hold on, Tony. You know, you at one time used to get along with these folks. Now, because of they, they have maybe a difference of opinion or a difference of doctrine, all of a sudden I feel like I need to say something, like I should say something. Now, if, if, if what somebody or something is doing is completely and totally against Scripture, it, that needs to be addressed. Um, but sometimes, you know, you just need to keep your mouth shut. And, and I believe um, there is a, an evil spirit of division going around, and, and it's just getting worse. So I wanted to address that. Um, now, if you go to people's channels and they are what they are saying is completely contrary to the scripture, then you need to stay away from that channel because they're not hearing from the Lord. Okay, if they if if they don't back up what they're saying with scripture, then it's just opinion. Okay, it's just what they think. Now, that may or may not be true, and I think that's what frustrates a lot of us, but if they say or do things backed up by Scripture, we know that it's 100% true. So, I have weeded out a lot of channels that I used to watch, and I don't watch them anymore because they're not giving any scriptural or biblical truth. You know, it's just... It's just what they feel and how and how they they think in their opinions, 
And like I said, that they, those may be true, but we're in the end times now and I don't have time to sift through that stuff. I need to focus on truth. And a, a, a safe way to do that is to follow channels that are biblical and true, backed up by scripture. And don't allow yourself to, now you can follow these other channels, and I'm sure a lot of these channels are, are wonderful people, and they love the Lord, and they serve the Lord, and, and they may or may not be hearing from the Lord. But... I have found in the past, if it comes against my beliefs or what I've seen in scripture, I get all tied up in knots and feel like I got to say something. Well, I rebuke that spirit right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I apologize to any of you if I've come on your channel and blasted you a little bit in the comment section. Um, I'm sorry. You know, I'm human. I, 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 I'm sorry. I've asked the Lord for forgiveness and I ask for your forgiveness. Um, I may or may not watch your channel anymore, but I'm going to not leave comments. That's a, that's a promise I'm going to give to you right now, and I'm going to do my best to f fulfill that promise. Um, so I'm, I'm only going to stay on and focus on people's channels that back up everything with scripture. You know, and if you know if you don't like following, because I've had a lot of people that have left me comments, hey, hey, you are coming against this brother and or sister and I really like that channel, so I'm gonna unsubscribe from your channel. And that's okay. Um, wherever the Holy Spirit leads you is where I say go. But let it lead you in all truth and He, the Holy Spirit will lead you in all truth, so make sure you're hearing from the Holy Spirit. Um, but if, these, if some of these folks' channels and their dreams and visions and things like that they are completely against scripture, completely contrary to the to the Bible. I would highly suggest you stay away from that. If they are giving you time frames that prophecies and raptures and things like that are to happen and they come and go, it's a red flag that they may not be hearing from the Holy Spirit because the enemy is very slick very smart and he can deceive many so as for myself I'm only going to follow channels that offer biblical and scriptural truth you know and you may or may not agree with the way they deliver it maybe they're not the most eloquent speaker maybe they deliver it a bit harsh maybe the tone of their voice is a little something you don't like but if it's if what they say is backed up with scripture it needs to be listened to because we can guarantee we can be guaranteed it's 100% truth 100% truth if it's backed up with scripture if it's not it's just hearsay it's just opinion and that may or may not be true and as for me I just don't have time anymore to follow stuff that may or may not be true you know we're in the end times I want to fill my that's why I always say read the word read the Bible don't take man's opinion for it don't take mine but read the Bible so anyway like I said, we're going to go to scripture and the word division I looked up in the Bible is, is listed 65 times, 50 of those times in the old Testament, 15 of those in the new Testament. And I'm going to go through some of these. We're going to go through maybe nine or 10. And, and like I said, I, I, I pray against that spirit of division. Here on, here on this channel, here on other channels, amongst the brothers and sisters and the saints. I come against that spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, get your Bibles out. For, for brevity's sake, for time's sake, I'm going to stay in the New Testament because, of course, as you know, you know, a, a lot of the New Testament is what Jesus said. So, if I'm going to, you know, for time's sake, I'm, I'm going to stick with what Jesus said to us about division and what the New Testament says to us about division. So go to Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Do you suppose that I came to give peace on earth? Jesus said, I tell you, not at all, but rather division. What's he mean there? Well, I'm dividing the wheat and the chaff. 
I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let the Bible and divide and the Holy Spirit divide those that are true in the faith and those that are lip service Christians. You know, those people that Jesus will say on that day, "Depart from me. I never knew you." You know, I, I didn't have a relationship with you. You know, sure, sure, you gave ten percent of your money at church every Sunday, but I, you never had a relationship with me. You know, I mean, sure, you did all this stuff like the Bible says. You know, many will come, many will stand before me on that day and say, "Lord, Lord, did I not? Did we not prophesy in your name and do all these magnificent works and such and such and such? Did I do this and we did we did that and we did this?" He's like, "What do you? I never knew you." I never had a relationship with you. You never, you never spent time in the Word. With me. You never seek my counsel and advice. You never loved me. You did what you did out of fear, but you didn't love me. I didn't have a relationship with you. You know. So Jesus came not to, to bring peace on earth, but but to bring the sword, to bring division. All right. So John, chapter seven, verse forty-three. So there was a division among the people because of him. John chapter 9, verse 16. Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God. They're talking about Jesus. Because he does not keep the Sabbath. Others said, How can a man who is a sinner do such signs? And there was a division among them. See, even back then, the enemy was causing people, God's people, to divide. You know, and, and I, I can kind of see how that would have happened i mean for thousands of years you had they were they were living by the law by what moses said you were judged on how you kept the commandments then now jesus came on the scene and here's this person who is the son of god the messiah of course and he is telling you it's good to keep the commandments but you're missing the heart god knows the heart you're you're, you're missing that point I, I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law, Jesus said. And of course, after Jesus was born, everything you know, everything changed. Lots of stuff changed. You know, we're not we're not judged on keeping the law. We're judged on um, faith in Jesus, faith in Yeshua. You know, and, and let me put this very plainly and very clearly, because there's all kinds of people out there that are saying, well, if you're dividing brothers and sisters and you're leaving negative comments on people's channels, you're, you may not make it in the rapture. Hogwash. Let me ask you a simple question. Do you believe that there is one and only one God? Yes. Check. Do you believe that Jesus, Yeshua, is his one and only son, and he died for your sins and rose from the, rose from the grave? Yes. Check. Hey, you're going to heaven. You're going in the rapture. Period. So please don't leave me comments saying, oh, you know, you're going to be left behind because, you know, you left a negative comment on such and such channel. I'm like, I said this last night to somebody. I'm like, have you even read the scripture? <laughs> that has nothing to do with my salvation. Nothing. Let's continue. John chapter 10, verse 19. Therefore, there was a division among the Jews because of these sayings. Doctrine. And that's what's happening now. You know, some people believe this. Some people believe the pre-trib. Some people believe the post-trib. Some people read the King James Version only. Some people read all kinds of versions. Some people believe in dreams and visions. Some people don't. Doctrine. Division. It's a way the enemy can creep and sneak his way in among us. But we must agree on core things. The core things that bind us together. You know, and if people disagree with those, then we have serious problems. Um, Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I urge you, brethren, note those who cause division and offenses. Contrary. See, if you just stop right there, which people do, they're saying, oh, Brother Tony, you're um, you're causing division among, among, among different channels. Well, you didn't read the whole scripture, did you? So let's continue. Romans 16, 17. Now I urge you, brethren, note those who cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you learned and avoid them. Like I said earlier in this video, 
Are people putting out stuff that is contrary to the doctrine? You need to avoid them per the scripture. Okay? And, and I'm, not go, I'm not going to go in, ex I, I could go on examples of what different people on these different channels have done and blasted these folks, but I'm not going to do that. That's not my job. I'm, I'm done with that. You know what I mean? Just, just search it for yourself and your heart. Now, you might like this person's channel. They may have thousands of subscribers. You know, you, you may have sent them money or gifts or whatever, and they seem like a really good person. But if they say and what they do is against Scripture, avoid them, the Bible says. Now, I urge you, brethren, note those who cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you learned. If what they say is contrary to the Bible and Scripture, avoid them. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you speak, that you all speak the same thing, one in voice as a church, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. See, Paul is saying to the church in Corinth, and there are four examples here, or, uh, or three, I'm sorry, three examples of the word division in Paul's letter to the church in Corinth. They had division there. It's happened ever since the enemy wanted to cause division between Adam and Eve and the Lord. Division. If you can cause division, then you can cause strife, and you, then you got people arguing amongst each other, then you got people hating each other, and then you got people murdering each other, and the devil's just sitting back and laughing and going, Yep, ha ha ha, I gotcha. Let's continue to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. For you are still carnal in the world. Where there are envy, strife, and divisions among you, are you not carnal and behaving like mere men? And that's what we're doing, and I've done that in the past. I fully admit it, and like I said, I ask forgiveness. Our pride, we get on, we get on here, and it's like, we, I've got to say something. You know, I've, I've just got to, to say something. And if it's completely against the, the Bible, then you're commanded to call that person out. But if it's just a, a, something they don't agree with you, Hey, let's keep our mouth shut. You know what I mean? Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 18. For first of all, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you. And in part, I believe it. Paul was like, you're not coming together as, as, one, as one body. And we are. We are one body in Christ Jesus, the church. So let's come together. You know what I mean? And, and, and my last example here is Jude chapter 1 verse 19. There are sensual persons who cause divisions not having the spirit. Are you, are you causing division? I'm not saying you don't have the spirit, but maybe you're not listening to the spirit. You know, so, every, so like the Bible says, you know, the greatest commandment they asked Jesus, and he responded to them, the greatest commandment is this, love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. And the second command, commandment is similar, love others like you love yourself. You know what I mean? If, and, the, and I read that today, today when I was reading chapter uh, uh, Mark, uh, you know, love love each other like you love yourself. And I, and I thought to myself, you know, I live here in San Diego, I live at the beach, there's a lot of homeless people. And I thought to myself, you know, love each other as you love yourself. Love others as you love yourself. Am I doing that completely? How can I better love others like I love myself? If I had a clone, another Tony, and he was down here at McDonald's hanging out in dirty clothes, and he was cold and freezing, and he was hungry, he had nothing to eat, nowhere to stay, would I let my clone go through that? No, of course not. I would walk up and go, hey, Tony, it's me, Tony. Come, come to my house. Take a shower and clean up. Let me give you some warm clothes. Let me feed you. Let me read the Bible to you. Let me love on you. Would you let yourself go through that? Of course not. You know, and, and you know, if I had a clone that had another channel on here, 
and, and they were, you know, they believed the same things I believed and stuff, but maybe they just had a different, maybe they were post-trib and I'm pre-trib. Would I blast myself because my other self was post-trib? No, I'd love myself in love. Go, hey, where, where are you getting this from? Let's talk about this. Let's discuss this, you know? So anyway, family, I love you guys. I pray this message has been a blessing to you. Uh, the Lord put it on my heart to put this out because there is serious division going on among the saints. And, and it's getting, the, the divide is getting bigger. It's getting worse. And, you know, as we're getting closer and closer to the rapture of the church, to the end times. And we are in the end times. Hey, folks, we are electing a new president tomorrow. Pray for that. Pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for the church. There may be a time real soon where it's illegal to walk down the street with a Bible. It's illegal to get together assembly. You know, the church might become illegal. It may be illegal for us to talk about Jesus. You know, they shut all religious channels down on the internet to talk about Jesus. <laughs> that sounds crazy, but don't think it can't happen. Don't think it can't happen quick. So, keep your nose stuck in your Bible. Go to church. Love each other and always pray to the Lord for forgiveness of your sins and repentance. Now, you are forgiven by the blood of Jesus, but you must repent. Turn away from those sins. Say, Lord, I don't want to do those sins anymore. Please help me to overcome those. And you may fall back into those sins eventually, sometimes. Get back up on the horse. Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Help me to not do this. That's repentance. Not sinning and go, well, I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven by the blood of Jesus. I'm going to go out here and I'm going to watch porn and masturbate and I'm going to have sex with women and, and guys and I'm going to steal and I'm going to take this person's money and I'm going to do all this bad stuff and, hey, you know, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. That's not repentance. Repentance is knowing what you're doing wrong, listening to the Holy Spirit inside you, that's telling you what you're doing is wrong, turning away from that sin, doing your best not to do it anymore, having a change of heart, change of mind. That's repentance. So family, like I said, I love you guys so much. Be blessed if in the past I've come on your channel, I've blasted you, and, and I didn't do it in love. I didn't do it backing up, backing it up with scripture. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Um, there are some channels that frustrate me. I'm going to stay away from those channels. I, I you know, and it's 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 that spirit, you know, it's it's the 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 pride, the evil that causes you and has caused me in the past to go on people's channels and go, oh, yep, look at that. Their, their rapture time frame didn't come true and they've changed it again. You know, their, their, their updates and, and I feel like somehow I got to say something. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. You know, um, I do believe in dreams and visions. You know, the Bible says that um, in the end times, your old men will dream dreams and your young men will have visions. I don't believe that that happens in the frequency that some of these people say. You know, they get two or three dreams and visions every single night. But then again, who am I to say the Lord isn't speaking to that person two or three times a night? So use your discernment, you know, and be careful, like I've said before, whose channels you watch. If it doesn't line up with scripture, avoid them, like it says in the scripture, you know. Um, Back up in Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I urge you, brothers, note those who cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you learn, avoid them. But if somebody is, is, is saying something to you, calling you out on something, maybe in love, and they're backing up with scripture, pray about it. You know, don't just dismiss it. Just Don't just say, no, what you're saying is against what I believe and I don't, I don't believe you. Okay, well, maybe what you're believing is not completely true. Is what you believe backed up with scripture? Anyway, family, I love you guys. I pray that the love, peace, and grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus watch over you always. And um, until we meet again, God bless you. Go out there, fulfill the Great Commission, make disciples of men, tell everybody you can about Jesus. I love you guys. Be blessed. Amen.